the Project Spectrum Cyber Readiness Check Self-Assessment Tool no longer calculates a score when you go through all of your answers for 800-171 and 800-171A because apparently, according to Project Spectrum in an email that they sent, oh. um, they have temporarily removed the score on the readiness checks in order to address possible confusion as to what the score represents. I what don't know what that, that means. Mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means. I thought that's what the training was for, uh, but they no longer have a tool on the Project Spectrum website that calculates your score. So if you log into the website to use their various assessment tools and you go through the questionnaire, like the one for 800-171 here, you know, typically we've given props to Project Spectrum because as you go it's through, been great. yeah, as you go through, now this isn't formatted exactly, you know, the same way that 171 is formatted, but going through the tool will ask you all of the questions that are contained in 800-171A. And most importantly, what used to happen was if you answered no for a certain set of questions, you wouldn't get the overall points for the corresponding requirement in the end. So it would accurately calculate your score uh, unlike a lot of tools, which will just give you full points without, you know, asking you the uh, determination statements in 171A. Now, however, what you end up getting is you just end up getting this. <laughs> you just end up getting a massive unformatted spreadsheet uh, with the column of what answers you had and the questions. You don't actually get a score. So it's not very helpful. The alternative, though, the one sort of bright light here is that DOD... Uh, actually, the DibCAC team itself has... Let me pull it up here. Get rid of this. Because that was my question. It's like, I used to send so many people to Project Spectrum and say, hey, oh, yeah. go here, get your baseline. And now we're... I mean, why would I send anybody there? Like, Yeah, so, so if you want a free tool that is officially released from the government, you go to the DibCAC website. You can just Google DibCAC and you'll, get, you'll end up here. And you have to pick the... 800 self-assessment database. Can you, and you, can you down... zoom in on that one there? Let's, let's see. Sure. What, yeah, let's see. Right. There we go. Right. Enhance. Enhance. Right here. Enhance. <laughs> right here. Mm -hmm. The self-assessment database, which they don't really talk about very much. The DIPCAC, uh, DIPCAC's out there running JSVAs. They're doing their thing. They're not really talking about this stuff all that often. And if you download that, you end up with this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. What year is it? Now, we'll make fun of it, you know, for the way it looks and the way it handles and all that other stuff. However, you know, to be fair, if you end up going in and looking at what they have here. Wait, 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 wait. Is this an access database? This is an is this access a... database okay. file. I was just making sure. I thought that's what that I thought that's what that was. <laughs> this is an access database. Ask your parents, kids. This is an access database. Now, to be fair to the access database, all of the information that you need is technically in this database, right? So you can go through for each of the assessment objectives, for each of the requirements in 800-171 and 171A. It even gives you a little hint about the kind of thing that DIBCAC oh. might look for when they're going through the assessment. And most importantly, if you do not satisfy all of the assessment objectives for a given requirement, then the requirement satisfied here will not be checked and you won't get the corresponding number of points oh. that the requirement stands for. So when you go over to the other part of the database that can generate reports, which it can generate quite a few different reports, then when you end up getting your score, <laughs> brace oh yourselves, everybody. Oh my gosh. When you get your score, it will calculate the score correctly, which means if you were going to upload something to SPRS and you used this tool from the DoD, you would technically get the accurate score uh, by using this tool, but you can no longer get the accurate score from Project Spectrum because apparently it was too confusing. <laughs> and if you were confused about that, I'm sure that this one won't confuse you, but there is a free option for people who want it.